Hey guys, my name is Nick, and I have stuff! A lot of stuff! The delivery guys finally came through, and I got all my th all the shit I ordered. It's all finally here, so we can get back on schedule. Now the reason that the delivery uh, was such a problem was one specific item, which is actually a very funny story, which I will share in the next video, when I'll be opening up the item that caused all the problems. As for today, I'll be opening up this Genesect Mythical Collection box. Now I know I said uh, that I would probably do the Pikachu EX box uh, in the next video, but I decided to postpone that one a bit, because next video I'm planning to open something special, and, and I feel like opening up the Pikachu EX box will give a lot of good pulls and sort of undermines the special thing I'm going for with the next video. So we'll get to that, just not quite yet. For now we'll just do the Genesect box with only two packs in them, which uh, again they're Generations packs, so that's basically four packs worth of uh, chances at cool EX cards and stuff like that. And the second reason I wanted to open this one was just to compare it to the Genesect EX I got in the last video. Now, as always, these are generation packs, so there are no code cards inside of this. But I have code cards left over from previous videos. I have some good ones this time. Uh, two Roaring Skies boosters. Roaring Skies has been out of print for a while now, so those are becoming increasingly difficult to get. As for the winners of last video, I asked you guys what your favorite card was from the Fates Glide set. I had four Steam Siege codes to give away and five people who commented, so that's kind of the most unfortunate number because it meant I have to pick one person who didn't win. But fortunately, one of the commenters was Gaming with Joel, who chose uh, Alakazam EX as his favorite card. And Joel is actually a friend of mine in the online game, and I, and I actually did a pack battle video with him and stuff like that. So I tr just gave him a pack in game. So the four code cards can go to the other four commenters. So the second and third winner were Marco Lepore and Roshan Kumar, who both went with Mega Al Alakazam as their favorite. A lot of Alakazam uh, love for in this set, which is understandable. Alakazam EX and Mega Alakazam EX are quite powerful cards to use uh, in competitive play. Our fourth winner was Kana Cool, who chose Mega Alteria as his favorite, which we actually have back here on the right there. And the last winner was Ibrahim Dagger, who chose Mega Zygarde as his favorite. Now, I'm pretty sure Mega Zygarde is not a thing, but I think what he meant was this guy, Zygarde in his 100% form. So I think making a bit of a mistake is uh, forgivable there, because that Pokemon has so many forms, it's uh, bound to be a bit confusing. So congratulations everyone, uh, everyone wins. That's always a nice thing to be able to say. And by the time this video goes up, you should have received a message from me with uh, one of the Seam Siege codes. So today we are opening up this Genesect box with this awesome looking Genesect promo. Which is this beautiful yellow city light background. I, I really like this card. It's I think it's really beautiful. Also this Genesect is incredibly shiny. Like not in different color shiny, but literally shiny. I'm pretty sure this Genesect went to the car wash and said I'll have the premium wax, thank you very much. It just makes me want to rub his head and make that squeaky noise. <laughs> and this also leads me to the question for this video, for a chance to win one of the Roaring Skies codes. So Genesect being uh, basically a Pokemon stuffed inside a machine, uh, seems to be pretty much made out of the same shit they make cars out of. So the first thing I would do with my Genesect is I would take him to my nearest car mechanic and ask him to make a custom paint job. So my question to you guys is what color paint would you use to customize your own Genesect? As always leave your original and creative comments below and I'll pick my two favorites uh, to win the code cards in the next video. So let's open this thing. What the hell is this? That's new. They did this one with a with a whole plastic tape thing. Scissors. Oh now I broke it. <laughs> So starting off with the Genesect pin, 
which looks a bit faded in my opinion. It's just a very light purple, which I'm used to Genesect being much darker. So here we have the Genesect promo. I'm actually gonna get the Genesect EX for comparison. Because I can. And looking at, the, at them both, they both seem like really good cards for competitive play. So out of the two, I would say they're both really good, but I would prefer the, the regular Genesect over the EX one if I had to choose one for my deck. I'm sure there are situations where the, the EX one is better, but overall I think the I think the, the regular one is the better card. Because they're sort of equal in my opinion, but the EX is gonna give the opponent two prize cards if it dies, so really I would go for this one. So that's enough about the promo card, let's get to the packs, we get the awesome packs this time, Charizard and Blastoise, the best ones. Of course we always have to save the best one for last, Blastoise, I know most people like Charizard better, but it's a turtle with freaking cannons strapped to its back, what more do you want? <laughs> Wrong side. So, back one. So, two generations packs. I'm usually very lucky with these because, well, one pack is basically two packs in terms of EX cards. I think I already said that, I mentioned that, but. But sure. So, here we have Fletchling. Oh, let me. Position this properly. There we go. Fletching. A double colorless energy. A cloister. We'll probably get another shelter this time. <laughs> Predicting that. Paris. Rhyhorn. Clefairy. Diglett. Uh, this isn't... Go away, Diglett. This is not a Fates Collide set. <laughs> this is not a Fates Collide video. And we have Gyarados, Reverse Hollow, very nice. The last card, Sylveon EX. It's always, oh, I forget, there's a Radiant Collection card, of course. There's something behind there, but yeah, Sylveon EX. I uh, already have one, right there. But it's always nice to get extra EX cards. Uh, and the last card, regular Gyarados. Obviously, I'm gonna prefer the reverse hollow one because that looks amazing, but still cool. I'm very happy with this one, even though it's a duplicate. So, the second pack can we get two AX cards? I already know it's possible. But statistically unlikely. So here we go. We have Chikorita with a Pikachu in the background. Oh, I, that's adorable. I like this one. Another Cloister. So two Cloisters this time. Maybe no Shelter at least. A Clefable. And Meowth. Slowpoke. Tangela. Another Rhyhorn. A reverse Hollow Max Revive. A Swirlix. And the last card. A Mega Venusaur EX. A oh, beautiful. But well, it's even better than a regular EX. <laughs> oh, that's very nice. That's gonna go next to our Blastoise EX right there. Mega Blastoise EX. Ah, oh, very cool. So here we go. I sleeved up all the cool cards. So we have the Reverse Hollows. Gyarados Rare, very cool, and Max Revive. Tra trainers are usually very valuable as as, as Reverse Hollows. Swirlix, hidden inside a uh, large amount of candy it seems. Which is an uncommon, but still just very adorable. The promo and the two EX pools. Some very nice cards from this box. So yeah, th that was the Genesect EX box. For now, I'm going to enjoy staring at this one for a while. So that's it for now. 
Again, if you want to win one of the Roaring Skies code cards, leave a comment below what custom paint job you would give your own Genesect. I'll pick my favorites and announce the winners in the next video. So thank you very much for watching and have a very nice day.